welcome to Storytime for Home Time. My name is James Mayhew. I'm a children's author and illustrator. And for the next few weeks, I'm going to be telling you some stories, reading some books, and maybe drawing some pictures for you. I hope you've had a great day of learning, whether you're at home or at school, and that you're ready to wind down with a story. I always think a story is the best way to end the day. And I'm going to begin with a story from Spain. It's a funny little story, but I enjoy telling it, and I'm going to try and draw a picture to go with it. This story is called The Hearth Chicken. Once upon a time, in Spain, there lived a hen. Now this hen had several eggs, and she was very excited because they were about to hatch. But there was one egg that took ages to hatch. And when it finally did, the mother hen was very surprised because out popped, well, only half a chick. Now she felt a bit sorry for this half chick, so I'm afraid that she rather spoiled him. And he became very proud and vain and a bit silly. He didn't treat the other chicks, his brothers and sisters, very nicely at all. He wouldn't do any work. In fact, he was thoroughly rude and bad-tempered. And the mother chick, even though she indulged him and spoiled him and tried to be nice to him, in the end, even she got a bit fed up with him. And when he was gold enough and grown up enough, she said, You are the naughtiest chick I've ever had. Never mind that you're only half a chick. You're twice as much trouble. I think you should leave home because I'm fed up with you. And the naughty little chick said, Good! I don't want to stay here anyway. I hate being here with you lot because I'm better than any of you and I'm going to go off into the world and I'm going to seek my fortune. In fact, I'm going to go and see the King of Spain himself. And so off the little naughty chick went. And on his way he went through a forest. Now in the forest... The wind was whirling around in the trees and had got stuck and the wind called down to the half chick and said oh little chick little chick please will you help and set me free i'm all tangled up in the branches of this tree and the little chick said i don't think so can't you see i'm very busy i'm on my way to see the king i'm seeking my fortune i can't possibly stop and help you and the chick rather rudely went on his way and soon he came to a river that he needed to cross, and the water was swirling around, but was stuck behind some logs and branches. And the water cried out and said, Oh, little chick, little chick, please move some of these branches so I can flow down the river nicely, because I'm just going round and round. And the chick said, I don't think so, can't you see? I'm terribly busy. I'm on my way to see the king. I'm seeking my fortune. And the chick hopped over the river and went on his way. Soon he passed a little fire burning in the wood, and the fire said, Oh, oh, I'm almost out. Please, little chick, as you're passing, would you mind just throwing a few more twigs and sticks onto the fire so I can burn for a bit longer? The chick said, I'm afraid you'll have to help yourself. I can't. I'm on my way to see the king. I'm going to seek my fortune, and I'm far too busy for you. And off he went. Soon the chick came to a castle. Aha, thought the chick, now at last I shall meet the king. Now inside, the king was sitting there wondering what to have for dinner, and he was feeling quite peckish, and he thought, ooh, ooh, do you know what I really fancy? I really feel like a roast chicken tonight. So the king said to the cook, cook, roast me a chicken for dinner, will you? With all the trimmings, I want stuffing and potatoes and vegetables and some gravy. And so the cook went into the kitchen and looked around. Well, now he had most of the ingredients. He had vegetables and potatoes. He could make some gravy, things to make stuffing, herbs and things like that. But what he didn't have was a chicken. Oh dear, oh dear, thought the cook. What am I going to do? At that moment... He looked out of the window and there he saw that naughty little half chick strutting past with its beak in the air 
thinking it was the most marvellous thing in all the world. And the cook leant out of the window and grabbed hold of the half-chick, pulled him inside, popped him in a saucepan and put it on the cooker. And then he went off to get some other uh, vegetables from the garden. And the chick cried out. The chick cried out down to the fire underneath the pan and said, Oh, fire, fire, don't burn, don't burn. If you burn, the water might boil. And if the water boils, I will cook. And the fire said, But you didn't help me. Why on earth should I help you? And the fire, I'm afraid, kept right on burning. Oh dear, oh dear, said the chick, what am I to do? And then he spoke to the water. He said, oh water, water, look, please, please don't boil. If you boil, I'm going to cook. And the water said, but chick, you didn't help me. So why on earth should I help you? And the water carried on getting hotter and hotter. And soon the water started to boil. Oh no, oh no, said the chick, what am I to do? What am I to do? Now as it happened, the cook had left open the window and the wind blew in. The wind blew in and whirled around the room and the chick said, oh wind, wind, please, please. Look, can't you see? The fire is burning, the water is boiling and I'm going to cook. Will you not help me? Why should I, said the wind, you didn't help me when I was stuck in the trees. Oh, but, but this is different. If you don't help me, I, well, if I cook, I, shall, I shan't even exist anymore. I shall be eaten. Oh dear, please. The wind thought for a moment, and then he whirled around the room again, and he gathered up the chick in his windy gusts, and carried him up into the air, and flew him out of the window, and whirled him around in the air. Now, he thought, what am I going to do with such a naughty little chicken to teach you a lesson? Oh, oh, said the chick, don't put me back in the fire. Don't put me on the boiling water, please, please. And so the wind whirled him around a bit more until he saw a high tower, a church tower. And there he plonked the naughty little chicken. And he said, now, there you are. I have saved you from the water and from the fire because I am a kind wind. But from now on, you will be my slave. You will whirl around on top of this tower. You will whirl to the north and to the south and to the east and to the west. And you will stay there for all eternity. And that will be your punishment for being such a naughty and selfish little half chick. And so there he is to this day whirling around on top. Perhaps if you've ever been past the church, or if you go past one soon, you might look up and see a little golden cockerel whirling around on top of a weather vane, round and around, north, south, east and west. Now, if you'd like to win that picture, all you need to do is follow me on Twitter and leave a comment underneath. Uh, the posting for this video. Okay, I'm going to be posting it on Twitter soon and then you can find it there if you follow me. And if you leave a comment, then maybe you'll win this. And tomorrow, join me for another story on Storytime for Home Time. Thanks for watching.